Hello and welcome back to Biker Stuff. Today's part for restoration is the fuel tank. It is very rusty inside and has been sat with fuel in it, which has congealed at the bottom. I'm going to let white spirits soak in while you watch the intro. I've given that about 20 minutes, so it's hopefully broken down the old fuel. Next, I'm going to add these nuts to the white spirit. My aim here is to loosen any flakes of rust inside the tank by shaking it around. Let's hope it has the effect I am after. I'm going to leave this drain out before I begin the rust treatment. As you saw, I gave it a good shake with the nuts inside the tank. Well, I had a look inside and despite the amount of muck that came out, I needed to give it another shake. I did forget to bung up the breather vent on the cap, as you might have seen, but I've done it now. This is Evapo Rust. It says it is water soluble, pH neutral, biodegradable, non toxic rust remover. We're going to find out how good it is. The instructions say to pour it into the tank and leave to stand for two to four hours. So let's do it. Can I ask? If you like what you see here on Biker Stuff, please click on my face. Then, if you ring my bell, you will get notifications 
when I upload more great videos like this one. The bottle is only five litres and the tank is six. So I'll come back every hour and rotate it to ensure everything gets wet. Now, don't go away. For you, these four hours will just fly by. That's four hours now, so let's pour the evapo rust out and see what else comes out. One good thing about this rust eater is I can use it again and again. So when I pour it back in the bottle, I will put it in a more see-through one. That way I can keep an eye on its condition the more and more I use it. My next job is to wash the tank out with water. Hopefully, this water will be enough to wash it out. It now needs to be allowed to dry before doing anything more to it. 
I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Since you last saw the tank, I've had the dents pulled out. But during the process, the PDR man said the metal was rather thin and there are now small holes in it. I then took it to be grip blasted to see if it uncovered any other weak parts and sadly it did. As you can see, it is more of a tea bag than a fuel tank. I know POR15 will probably seal it safely for me, but the metal is so weak. I don't want to rely on just one thick layer of paint. I'll have a chat with a local fabricator I know and see if he thinks we can save it. Otherwise, I'll be on the hunt for a good replacement. I've already searched the internet, but if you know anyone who has one of these, please let me know. Thank you for watching. I know you liked it, so tell your friends, and I'll see you here next time on Biker Stuff.